Hello and welcome to the new podcast solo series that is listener supported content or listener provided content ideas. For the next 30 days, listeners will be providing me with one content idea that I can use each week. I do a new solo podcast episode in between when I do my podcast uh, guest interviews. So to help keep the, the podcast content fresh and and So you guys are listening to content that is valuable to you and that you want to listen to. So I appreciate your support. Thank you for joining me on this podcast, uh, solo podcast hearing experiment, utilizing listener provided content ideas. And without further ado, let's get going on the podcast. And this episode is brought to you by RadioGuestList.com, the number one free radio guest podcast and talk show guest expert interview booking service on the internet. This episode is brought to you by PodcastGuest.com, connecting podcasters with great guests, podcasters. Find relevant experts and other podcasters to be guests on your podcast. Experts, guests, and more. Get booked on great podcasts to expand your reach and audience. Podcastguest.com Connects podcasters with experts, authors, and other podcasters to be guests on their podcasts. Disclaimer. The information I provide to the podcast listeners of Mindset is based on my own own research and personal experience. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Not all information is factual or has scientific evidence to support it. I am simply sharing the best information I can find and finding valuable content to help you improve your mental health and well-being. Please consult your doctor or therapist before trying any of the modalities I discuss on this podcast. And welcome to episode 86 of the Mindset Podcast. This is your host, Alex Muir, helping you flex your mind, body, and soul. And today's episode 86 of the Solo Podcast Series, provided by listener content ideas. We're going to be talking about the secrets of kombucha, how this fermented tea can enhance your gut health and mood. Welcome to Mindset, the podcast where we explore the latest research and insights on how to optimize your mind and body. I'm your host, and today we're going to talk about kombucha the fermented tea that has been around for thousands of years and has many health benefits. Kombucha is made by adding specific strains of bacteria, yeast, and sugar to black or green tea, then allowing it to ferment for one week or more. During this process, bacteria and yeast form a mushroom-like film on the surface of the liquid, which is called the SCOBY, the symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast. Kombucha contains antioxidants, which may help fight several diseases, such as cancers and heart diseases. It also contains probiotics, which are beneficial bacteria that can support good good gut and vaginal health, improve digestion, boost the immune system, reduce inflammation, prevent constipation, and more. However, not all kombucha is created equal. Some types of kombucha are more sweetened than others, which, which can add extra calories and sugar to your diet. Some kombucha may also be contaminated with harmful bacteria or fungi if it is brewed in an unsterile conditions or with improper equipment. Therefore, it is important to choose kombucha from reputable brands or make your own at home with proper hygiene and care. If you want to try making your own kombucha, you will need a SCOBY, which you can get from a friend who brews kombucha, buy online, or grow from a bottle of store-bought kombucha. You will also need tea, sugar, water, a glass jar, a cloth cover, and a rubber band. Here are the basic steps to make kombucha. Boil four cups of water and steep four tea bags or one tablespoon of loose tea for about 10 minutes. You can use black or green tea or a combination of both. Avoid using herbal teas or teas with oils or flavors as they may interfere with the fermentation process. Remove the tea bags or strain the tea leaves and add a quarter cup of sugar. Stir until dissolved. You can use white, turbinado, agave, or honey as your sweetener. As your sweetener. Avoid using artificial sweeteners or stevia as they may not feed the scoby properly. Let the tea cool down to room temperature and pour it into a large glass jar. 
Leave some space at the top for the SCOBY and some air. Add one cup of plain kombucha, either from a previous batch or from a store-bought bottle, to the jar. This will help lower the pH of the tea and prevent mold growth. Gently place the SCOBY on top of the tea. It may sink or float, which is normal. If you don't have a SCOBY yet, you can use two cups of plain kombucha instead of one cup and wait for a SCOBY to form on the surface after a few days or weeks. Cover the jar with a cloth, such as a coffee filter or a paper towel. In my, in my suggestion, I recommend like a, if you have like a, which am I call it? A bathroom cloth or something like that. They tend to be a little bit better because of the material that's in bounty or paper towel might not be the best. Because again, the SCOBY will feed off of whatever is on uh, above it. Um, and if you don't have a SCOBY yet, you can use two cups of plain kombucha instead of one cup and wait for the SCOBY to form on the surface after a few days or weeks. Oh yeah, I already reviewed that. Uh, cover the jar with a cloth such as coffee filter, or paper towel. And this is where I mentioned the bathroom uh, bathroom cloth, if you have one, and secure it with a rubber band. This will allow air to circulate, but keep dust and insects out. Place the jar in a warm, dark, and undisturbed place for about seven to 10 days with a temperature, room temperature between 68 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Any higher than that, if it's too hot, it will create uh, and breed mold growth, which you do not want. And if you're, and if you're, um, if you do notice that your kombucha batch grows mold, then my first batch I did that. Just make sure you throw it away and start fresh. You can taste the kombucha every few days with a clean straw or spoon until it reaches your desired level of sweetness and tartness. The longer you ferment it, the more acidic and less sweet it will become. So you want to find that sweet spot of where you you. Uh, you prefer. When your kombucha is ready, you can transfer it to another jar or bottle and, re and refrigerate it to stop the fermentation. You can also flavor it with fruits, herbs, spices, or juices if you like. You can also do a second fermentation in an airtight bottle for a few days to make it more fizzy and carbonated. Save some of the kombucha and the scoby for your next batch. You can store them in a glass jar with some sweetened tea in the fridge until you're ready to brew again. That's all for today's episode of Mindset. I hope you learned something new about kombucha and its benefits for your gut health. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me at mind.sep on Instagram. You can DM me or leave a short review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify Podcasts or subscribe even to Apple Podcasts or Spotify Podcasts if you appreciate the show and like listening to Mindset. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for more episodes on how to optimize your mind and body. And this is your host, Alex Muir. Take care and see y'all next time. Quick shout out to our listener provided content idea from my buddy, Peter. You can reach Peter at his Instagram at Peter Dubensky. That's D-U-B-E-N-S-K-I. Thank you again, Peter, for the listener provided content idea for this week's episode. Are you ready to take your mind and body to the next level? Look no further than Mindset, the podcast that's all about unlocking your true potential. And now we've teamed up with a brand that's as dedicated to recovery as we are. Introducing New Recover Ice Bath. Hey there, podcast listeners. It's your host, Alex here. And I've got some exciting news for you. If you're looking to supercharge your recovery after those intense workouts, or just want to experience the incredible benefits of cold therapy, New Recover is your ultimate solution. Picture this. You've pushed your limits, and now it's time to treat your body to the rejuvenating power of an ice bath. New Recover Ice Bath offers a range of top quality products designed to help you bounce back faster and stronger. From your, their innovative ice bath tubs to their specially formulated recovery accessories, New Recover has it all. But wait, there's more. As a valued listener of Mindset, you're in for a treat. When you use my exclusive discount code, Alex, 36631 at checkout, you'll get a fantastic 15% off on any new recover product purchased through my affiliate link. That's right, a 15% discount to elevate your recovery game. So whether you're an athlete aiming for peak performance or someone who simply wants to feel invigorated every day, New Recover Ice Bath is your ticket to unpar unparalleled recovery. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to invest in your well-being. Remember, it's not just an ice bath, it's a lifestyle upgrade. Head over to our affiliate link to explore the new recover range and embrace the power of recovery like never before.
Don't forget to use code Alex36631 for that exclusive 15% discount. Thank you for supporting Mindset and taking this exciting journey with us. Here's to unlocking your potential and recovering the new recover way. Mindset and new recover, because your mind and body deserve the best. Start your journey today. listening to the mindset podcast and want to support us here's how you can do it simply use our amazon affiliate link when you shop online it won't cost you anything extra but we'll get a small commission from amazon for every purchase you make this way you can help us keep producing high quality content for you and millions of other listeners just click on the link below and start shopping thank you for your support affiliate disclosure using our link for amazon earns commission supporting the mindset podcast our endorsement is based on quality and potential to enhance your well-being Thank you for your support. The Mindset Mission. The Mindset's mission is to empower 30 plus million listeners worldwide to achieve optimal mental and physical health through engaging podcasts, inspiring positive change for future generations. listeners. I thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to the Mindset Podcast. This is your host, Alex Muir, helping you flex your mind, body, and soul. And I just want to start off by saying, I appreciate you. I appreciate you listening to this podcast. I appreciate your feedback on my episodes and uh, following the show. And I would like your feedback as well in the form of a short rating and review on Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify podcast now has a rating and review section. Um, so I would love your feedback on Apple podcasts, Spotify podcasts, um, to, to help me, uh, attract great guests and to help me further the show and, uh, develop the show and improve the show. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this, uh, episode. And again, uh, you can reach out to me, um, to give additional feedback on my, my blog, that's alexandermuir.com slash blog. You can reach out to me on uh, through my Instagram, through Facebook. All my links are in the show notes. And again, I appreciate you and thank you all for listening. I hope you all enjoyed that listener provide a content idea episode for this podcast solo series 30 days worth of exper- uh, content ideas experiment where my listeners provide content ideas for the next 30 days for my future solo podcast or solo podcast episodes thank you all for listening if you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to provide feedback please do so comment rate and subscribe on apple Podcasts, spotify podcast wherever you listen to podcasts uh, please leave a short review on Apple Podcast. Um, and if you enjoy the content and you have any feedback, you want to get some more content ideas, please uh, reach out to me uh, at my Instagram at mind.sep. That's at M M I M as a mic, I N D dot C E P at mind.sep. If you want to uh, DM me about additional content ideas you'd like to see for future solo podcast episodes. Thank you all for listening and see you guys for next week's episode.